You're at the grocery store. You pick up a pack of Italian sausages. The label lists ingredients, pork, water, salt, spices. Seems simple. But that pork came from seven parts of the pig you'd never buy separately. The water is dissolving proteins to create glue. Those spices aren't adding flavor. They're covering what grinding did. So, what are you actually eating when you bite into a sausage? 1873, Frankfurt, Germany. A young butcher named Johann Lahner just broke down six pigs for a wealthy estate. All the premium cuts went to the main house. He's left with shoulder scraps, back fat, cheek meat, belly trimmings, 40% of each animal. Meat he can't sell because customers won't recognize these tough, fatty parts as food. He's staring at this pile at midnight, knowing he's about to lose everything. Then he realizes something. If customers can't see what part of the animal they're eating, they can't reject it. He grinds everything. Three hours of cranking. The pile of identifiable scraps becomes a mountain of pink paste. He stuffs it into intestines, sells them next morning, sells out in two hours. Not because the meat was better, because grinding destroyed any visual evidence of what parts they were eating. When you grind meat, you're not just making it smaller, you're destroying everything that makes it recognizable as meat. A pork chop has long muscle fibers running parallel. When you chew it, your teeth tear along those fibers. Ground meat has no fiber direction. The blade chopped fibers into random 2 to 4 millimeter fragments. When you bite sausage, there's nothing to tear. It compresses like paste, then crumbles. Grinding exposes massive surface area to oxygen. A whole shoulder has 200 square centimeters exposed. Grind it and you create 20,000. Within four hours, iron in the muscle oxidizes. Meat turns gray-brown like rust on metal. This is why makers add sodium nitrite. Not to preserve it, to paint it pink. Nitrite binds to iron before oxygen can. Mix ground meat with salt and water. Salt breaks down myosin, protein holding fibers together. Myosin dissolves, creating sticky gel coating every fragment. When you cook sausage, heat sets this gel like concrete. The gel becomes the structure. Without this protein glue, sausage falls apart when cooked. Grinding destroyed all natural bonds. You're eating meat held together by its own dissolved proteins. So if grinding makes meat gray and taste like metal, why does anyone eat sausage? The answer is, you don't know what you're looking at when you shop. Grinding breaks cell walls. This releases myoglobin, protein storing oxygen. Myoglobin tastes metallic, liver-like. Fresh whole meat keeps it locked in cells. Ground meat floods your tongue with it. Without spices, ground meat tastes like pennies and old blood. Sage in breakfast sausage masks, metallic taste with bitter herbaceous notes. Fennel in Italian sausage covers it with licorice sweetness. Black pepper creates burn that distracts. Spices aren't flavoring good meat. They're masking what grinding released. Now the casing question. Natural casings are sheep intestine, semi-permeable membrane. Synthetic are extruded collagen sealed tube. Both contain pressure. But here's the trade-off. Natural casings look irregular. Variations in diameter. Visible texture. Cost 250 more per pound. When you bite, it snaps. Membrane has tensile strength that builds pressure until it breaks suddenly. Your brain registers this as freshness. Synthetic look, perfect. Uniform diameter. Smooth. Machine made. When you bite, it tears slowly. No snap. Just gradual rip. Your brain registers this as processed. The casing tells you what's inside. If sausage looks too perfect, absolutely uniform diameter, it's synthetic covering cheap meat. Natural's irregularity signals craft.
Synthetic Signals Mass Production Casing is honesty signal about everything inside. What most people miss when shopping is the timeline that created what they're buying. Sausage in your hand was ground 72 hours ago. Mixed Monday, stuffed Tuesday, shipped Wednesday, on shelf Thursday. Myosin gel has been set for three days. Proteins bonded completely. When you cook it, you're reheating meat that finished transforming days ago. It tastes smooth, uniform, processed, because it is. Here's the buying framework nobody teaches you. Press sausage gently through package. Quality resists and bounces back. Proper fat ratio, fresh meat. If it compresses easily and stays compressed, either too much fat or it's old. Look through casing. Should see distinct white fat streaks marbling through pink. If you see uniform paste, it's over-processed or has fillers. Check color. Fresh ground meat is pale pink to light red. Never bright red or brown. Bright red means excessive nitrites painting it. Brown patches mean oxidation. Ground days ago. Trust eyes over date. Price signals, corners. Under $6 means synthetic and fillers. 8 to 12 is quality range. Above 15, you're paying brand tax. Butcher shop sausages are ground same day you buy them. When you cook it tonight, you're eating meat still transitioning from fragments to unified gel. Tastes looser, more textured. That's not better ingredients. That's fresher assembly. Sausage isn't meat. It's waste management engineering. Butchers needed to monetize 40% they couldn't sell as recognizable cuts. Grinding destroyed visual evidence. Protein gel unified fragments. Spices covered metallic taste. Casing contained pressure. What started as unmarketable scraps became premium product customers would pay top dollar for. Next time at the store, you'll see past the label. Press gently. Resistance means quality. Look for irregular casing. Natural intestine. Check for fat marbling. Visible streaks mean proper ratio. Verify pale pink, not bright red paint. Sausage will tell you everything if you know what you're looking at. You're not buying pork. You're buying engineering solution that transformed parts butchers couldn't sell. Seven cuts ground into fragments. Dissolved protein bonding them. Spices covering broken cell taste. Masked by casing so you can't see what you're eating. So what's in your fridge? Natural or synthetic?